Chemistry is a fundamentally important subject for people to know in order to appreciate the way that the world works around them. With a degree in chemistry you can go on to do many things, uh, from being a, a scientist, uh, to being a teacher, to even working in the city or working in uh, companies. We're one of the largest schools of chemistry in the country. Uh, and so we have one of the largest numbers of academic staff as well. That means we can offer a very broad range of teaching, broad range of specialised lecture options at the advanced stages, and in particular when students do final year research projects, there's a very broad range of specialised topics to choose from, and they're all supervised by specialists in their field. When students first arrive, they're all allocated a personal tutor, and they will have meetings with their personal tutor every week for the first semester, so that's for the first 12 weeks. And that's to make sure that they build up a strong relationship with the personal tutor, and hopefully that will enable them to relate well to the tutor, uh, and also to sort out any problems that they might have during the early stages of the course. In the same way that new first years get to know their personal tutor, we have a dedicated international students tutor as well. Uh, and so they can meet with that person whenever they have any problems or need any special advice relating um, to the problems faced by international students settling into a new country or a new culture. Out of all the universities I looked at, it seemed to have the most well-equipped and the highest respected chemistry department. The labs uh, surpassed most universities and it just seemed very very geared towards the sciences, whereas other universities I didn't really get that impression. It's a combination of traditional and, and modern methods of delivery. So students do go to lecture courses, they have traditional lectures uh, as they would expect. Uh, they have practical courses. Uh, the practical courses are continuously assessed, so every piece of work that the student does will be marked. On the other hand, the lecture courses tend to be assessed by traditional end-of-semester examinations, although increasingly we do introduce coursework into our theoretical lecture courses. We're in increasingly using e-learning and we're supporting our traditional lectures with um, a computer-aided environment that enables students to go through the materials again at their own pace. My PhD project is a computational project based on crystal growth. We're trying to study crystal growth of, of nanoporous materials, some of which you can see on the pictures behind me. We literally grow the crystals inside the computer and we can change various parameters and see what that does to the, the overall crystal growth. What we're trying to do is to make molecules uh, which can really do things that have never been done before. So make molecular wheels, molecular motors, all sorts of functional molecular machines that can actually perform tasks, not just in the big world that we live in, but also down at the molecular level. Really, really tiny sorts of nano-engineering. We've got fantastic new facilities here in Manchester, a brand new three million pound lab equipped with all the latest equipment and very sophisticated fume cupboards. We also have NMR spectrometers, which is the same sort of um, instruments as you would get in hospitals for the magnetic imaging. And those allow us to uh, investigate um, both the structure of the, of the molecular machines that we make and also the dynamics of how they operate. My PhD is very relevant to the work going on in these teaching labs. It's the, the synthetic techniques are certainly applicable. And I find that explaining the different techniques and the uh, theory reinforces my own knowledge of it. The advice I give to someone thinking of coming here would be to just go for it. <laughs> Don't be scared and just do everything you want to do and people will help you settle in and you'll have a good time. There's uh, uh, lots of different things that a degree in chemistry can enable you to uh, uh, do and the University of Manchester is one of the best uh, chemistry departments in the, uh, in the UK and we'd be delighted to have you here.